Hello, and thank you for watching. I am Green Shireen, and today we are going to talk about winter skirts. So if you live in the cold, like I do, and it's February, and you want to dress like a girl, but you can't figure out how to wear a skirt because it's freezing, here are a few suggestions. We're going to start off with um, one of my faves, because we're just coming out of Fashion Week, and this young lady right here is one of my favorite DVF dresses. It comes out into a full skirt with a high-low in the bottom, and it's super, super warm. It's definitely a favorite. The trick with the winter skirts and winter dresses is that they have to be a thick material. So you're looking for wools, you're looking for cashmere, life is short, I prefer to live it in cashmere, and that will keep you warm. Also fun little accessories like mufflers, but we can talk about those another time. Last season, it was all about the drop-waisted skirt. This drop-waisted skirt is one of my faves. It is a leather number. This I got from Banana Republic, and I know you think I'm like a Banana Republic junkie, but every once in a while, I start on a brand and I get stuck on the brand. So Banana Republic was the brand right now. This is uh, real leather, though, because I prefer not to do too much faux leather, because leather will keep you warm. So this is another way to keep yourself warm. The other good thing about those drop-waisted skirts is if you're trying to pull off the crop top look and you don't have a lot of crop tops right now and you don't want to shop, you can wear a regular sweater with it and put a drop waist, and guess what? You're showing a slither of skin. Crop top, it counts, trust me. This little guy right here is from Old Navy, and you can get this drop waist skirt for $22.94. Of course, this is not a leather rendition, this is regular cotton, but if you wanna go the frugal route for said fashion, then you can do this. And if it's really, really cold and you're not doing the crop waist thing, then you can wear regular length sweaters over these guys and it still won't kill the flirt and flare of the skirt. So what happens under the skirt? Because your legs are what's freezing, right? Well, the first dress I showed you, the DVF, the way that I like to wear that is with these guys. These are my crochet tights and I'm just gonna throw my arm through them so you can see exactly what it looks like on. These crochet tights have a fun floral pattern, which are always neat. They, this is something that, I mean, when we talk about high-low, you can do this low, right? You can get this from H&M, you can get this from Express, you can get this from Forever 21, and you don't have to pay a ton of money from it. Normally, I get my tights from Bloomingdale's, but you can get them wherever you want to get them. That's just one example. When I do that with the DVF, I like to do that with an over-the-knee boot or an up-to-the-knee boot. Super, super sexy. Also, speaking of over-the-knee boot, I have a fun look coming in the spring with these guys as we are in transition weather. These are brick tights. How awesome is that? So these brick tights I like to do with over-the-knee boots and shorts, a way that I can utilize wearing a shorter material like a skirt or a shorts in the winter and still stay warm. These are super thick uh, tights and these are by, it's pretty poly. These are another tights selection. These tights I wore in a fall look. This is a leopard print, so you look kind of like a cheetah under there. It's pretty neat. So your skin actually looks like a cheetah. When you wear these, uh, you definitely get a ton of attention, but I like to wear these under skirts as well because it's another... The trick is, if it's a skirt that's above your knee and you're wearing tights, then you can wear boots that are up to the knee and it would make perfect sense. The other thing that we can look at is opaque tights. Opaque tights are really fun. When you're wearing opaque tights, you can do this with a skirt that's the same color or you can wear it with a shoe that's the same color, very monochromatic, really elongating of your legs. This particular one is Vera Wang. If you know and you follow the blog, you know I wear a lot of Vera Wang leggings. I believe that they are the best, but these are simply Vera Vera Wang opaque tights that I got from Kohl's. And you can find these for like $14 and then when they're on sale they're like $7. So that's a little bit about the winter skirts. As far as Again, I am Green Shereen. Thank you so much for watching. Just so that you're aware, the headband is from Banana Republic, Embracing the Radiant Orchid. So is the sweater. The eyewear today is Tiffany & Company. It's a green tortoise shell. Uh, it's like circa 2007. The earrings are Vera Wang. It's a cute little rose gold um, floral I'm embracing the blush because we're still in February. Michael Kors watch on this hand, Banana Republic bracelet on this hand, and I think that's about it. The nails today are uh, Chanel quartz. It's one of my favorite colors because it's glitter, and the great thing about glitter is when you wear glitter, no one can tell when it's chipping.
that's it. That's my beauty tip for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my blog on greenshereen.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, Facebook, the whole nine. It's at greenshereen anywhere you go. Thanks for watching. God bless. Take care.